recreating exactly uh, an areola with all of the details, including giving the illusion of dimension in the art. That's where my skill gets really challenged and I feel exhilarated because I can, I can do it. It took me a lot of practice, hours and hours and hours of practice, but having the ability to do that is really cool. I went for a mammogram on a Friday. By the following Friday, I was in my first surgeries of four. The first uh, two were basically uh, biopsies, trying to get clean borders around the edges of the calcification. Uh, wasn't possible on the first or second try. My only alternative now was to have a, a complete uh, bilateral mastectomy, which I, I did, and I haven't looked back. Karen came to me after 12 years of her reconstruction. I, I think that she just hadn't really thought about getting areola tattooed or maybe even knew that she could. So she was just living with an incomplete reconstruction, uh, if, if you will. With my shirt on, I look the exact same way. But it's when the shirt comes off that things change. I never would have taken you know, gone to the gym and say showered there or anything like that because I, I wouldn't want questions, you know, somebody pointing, little kids, you know, little girls, mommy, you know, what's wrong with her? Why does she not look like you? My job is to create detail and color uh, that matches skin tone, um, that matches uh, the, the, the shape of the breast, the size of the breast, and add in small little um, extra details like milk ducts, uh, milk duct or Montgomery glands. That's what we got together and we did a consultation, talked about what she was looking for, um, and then when we went to work, we had a great time. She was so thrilled with the results, she couldn't stop looking at herself in the mirror. She doesn't feel that she's got, she's completed herself in a sexual way. She feels her, herself completed as a woman and as a survivor of, a, of a, a deadly disease. I'm gonna laugh, because I've cried enough. <laughs> All there is time left for now is laughter. Yeah, right? good job. Katie has brought that full circle for me. I feel so complete. There's a, a, a shame when you don't have what other people have. Um, you don't want them to see you. It's almost like a weakness. <laughs> I have many scars, but we all have many scars. And Katie was able to work with all of that. And uh, she just brought me back to being a complete person again. I thrive off of being able to do whatever I can using my own skills and my own life journey to give back. If it's from my message or from Katie's, take care of yourself and uh, do what's good for you, what's best for you because uh, she's totally changed my life and uh, given me confidence that I had lost. I feel amazing. I haven't felt this good in years. My confidence has definitely come back and I'm just ready to take on the world thanks to her. <laughs>